hello guys welcome to this new tutorial with cry engine 5 today i will show you how to set up your first level and uh, i will show you how to create uh, a simple lake and i will show you how to paint some uh, texture and to create uh, a little mountain uh, so let's go Let's go new and create a name for that um, terrain system. Uh, we can save it on single player. Uh, you can save wherever you want on multiplayer or level. Um, we can choose the, the sides of the map. Uh, I will keep the 500. Then I will keep the one. You can uh, we can take the 248 or 16, but uh, your tier and quality will be downgraded. So I will keep the one. Uh, texture uh, 4K. Uh, if you are going to create uh, an open world or uh, a big project, I will recommend to keep the 2K. This is fine and let's go. <coughs> okay, new blank project and we can go on the terrain editor. Let's go on the paint. Uh, we have a default uh, layer, uh, we can rename that on grass, then we can go on the material, let's go on terrain and take the gra grass pipe. Okay, texture is uh, changed, so uh, we can go on the filter color we can take the green and click on paint and choose your uh, range like 20 uh, hardness and yeah, and let me increase again on 30. Here we go. Let's create uh, something very, very simple. Okay, uh, let me turn off the fog. global density and over here now we can create a new layer uh, the grass it's uh, looking nice create a new go on the layer create a layer send and go on texture and remove the white ideas we need to take the gray base to, to paint in. Go on the texture and default and gray. Take uh, material again on terrain and uh, beach white sand. Same way painting mm, maybe too bright so I can take something like that okay uh, now uh, you can see mm, we have a this problem right here. Uh, you need to mesh the two textures uh, controlling the hardness. Uh, 
of the painting so I will take the gear that one and I will reduce the radius to 2 and then you can start doing like this you need to be very patient to do this kind of painting so you can take also hour to do that okay this is looking better so we can we can go further to uh, to show you the uh, you know the sculpt tool and let's go on flatten and uh, we can pick up the pick up a tool let's go over here we can check the height of the terrain and I will increase that on 30 and same way then I will decrease 35 and increase again to 30 and again on 25 yeah we can start to smooth so let's go on this move and uh, just same way painting it's very very easy okay now we can start to create the, uh, the lake or a river whatever you want uh, come back on the flatten and uh, same way pick up the a tool and check uh, we can decrease to 28 We can create the holes and okay. After that, you can start to import uh, the water shader. So uh, turn off the smooth tool. Let's go on the area, then pick up the water volume, and we can start to click all over the uh, the hole. Okay, our water volume it's been saved from CryEngine. Uh, and we can go on the property go on the override material and uh, go on water water volume and choose the water forest okay we can move that 
a little bit down you can move up or down okay yeah this is looking nice so we can test if everything is working good uh, just hit ctrl G on the keyboard you can check if everything is working okay so that's it uh, if you can see uh, the reflection of the water it's wrong but uh, you can modify this in the material tool that I will show you in the next tutorial so for now uh, that's it thank you for watching uh, leave me a comment or if you have any question and see you the next tutorial bye bye